Good evening. I'm Mark Gooding, ZL2 UFI in Upper Hutt. I'm Rosemary Bosher, ZL1RO in Auckland. And I'm Stephen McNeil, ZL4HG from Christchurch. And I'm Jim Meacham, ZL2BHF in Nelson. And together we bring you the NZART official broadcast for June 2019. Good evening everyone and welcome to the June official broadcast. Leading tonight's broadcast is presidential comment. Reporting from Upper Hutt, here's our NZART president, Mark Gooding, ZL2UFI. Well, the conference weekend in New Plymouth is over and what a great weekend it was. The Plymouth Hotel was an excellent venue and the catering was first class. The AGMs on Saturday and the forums on Sunday had everyone talking and there was something for everyone. Thanks to the team from the new Plymouth branch for their hard work and putting on a great show. Next year's conference has been confirmed for Queen's Birthday Weekend in Greymouth, with the actual events taking place in Shantytown on the 30th and 31st of May 2020. More information will be available via the official broadcast, break-in and info line as it becomes available. I suggest you start planning those transport arrangements now. I would like to thank Stuart ZL2TW for his work as president over the last four years and the handover has gone smoothly. I'd also extend my thanks to all of those councillors leaving for their service. I'm happy to announce that we have a full council with Benjamin Isaacs ZL2BCI and David Mulder ZL4DK joining the new council for the 2019 to 2021 term. Benjamin in the central ZL2 district and David to the southern ZL4 district. I had a look at this job some time ago and I thought, you know, Stuart is going to finish at some stage and I thought maybe I could do the job. A bit like I thought about doing the breaking job back in 2015. I really do look forward to doing this job and I think we've got some real issues ahead of us. Some of it was outlined in the January-February 2019 break-in where I had written in my bio about youth and about membership. As an organisation, we must continue to encourage people to join the association so that we can continue to be relevant and to contribute to the ongoing health of it. Please support NZART. Encourage everyone not a member to become a member. And if you can volunteer for a position within NZART, please consider doing so. With many hands, we can get the jobs done. In the latest intro line has my speech from New Plymouth, which outlines the way forward and challenges we have over the next few years. I hope you will join me on the journey. At the Monday Council meeting in New Plymouth, we considered international activities, particularly protection of the spectrum. Without it, we might as well pack up our bags and go away. So I'll leave you with a thought from John Fitzgerald Kennedy, President of the United States, at his inauguration speech in 1961. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Back to you, Jim. Thank you, Mark. The NZART President, Mark Gooding, ZL2UFI. Straight into key points from the recent NZART conference held in New Plymouth. NZART subscriptions for 2020 will remain as for 2019. Transmitting, non-transmitting, $99. Family transmitting, family non-transmitting, $129. These categories will be eligible for a $10 rebate if payment is received by the 30th of November 2019. Student membership remains at $45. Overseas subscriptions for 2020 are still to be advised. A call book will be produced in December 2019. However, the information content and page count is being reviewed. To ARC and Don Robertson, ZL2TYR, was formally appointed as the new AREC National Director. Vice President of NZART, Warren Harris, ZL2 AJ, was elected by his fellow councillors to be the Vice President of NZART. To the remits and results of the voting, remit one, that was realigning the Constitution to a Code of Conduct rulebook style, that was lost on voices, And Remit 2 was changing Section 4.2b of the Constitution. That was carried on voices. To Breakin Awards for 2018, these were presented by the Breakin editor, Mark Gooding, ZL2UFI. Best Technical Article went to Murray Greenman, ZL1BPU. Best General Article 2018 
to Xenia Berger, ZL4YL, and best columnist to Mark Sullivan, ZL3AB. Each winner received a certificate and a book from the ARRL Library Collection. To the ZL1HV Jumbo Godfrey Award, this was awarded to Peter Thompson, ZL2PHS, from Nelson Branch 26. Badges were presented for 100% examination passes in 2018. These went to Richard ZL4RN of the Hamilton Amateur Radio Club, Branch 12, to Nazir ZL3NMI of Christchurch, Branch 05, and Narotam ZL3NR, also a member of Christchurch, Branch 05. The Rothschild Cup for the most successful examination passes for 2018, and again this year, it went to Christchurch, Branch 05, with 36 passes. The best examination result 2018 for under 18, this went to Fabi Grugor Stortz, ZL1BEA of the North Shore Branch 29. To Conference 2020, and a team from headquarters and Upper Hutt are organising Conference 2020 at Shantytown near Greymouth. More details later in tonight's broadcast. To the Stirrers Award, and as usual, there were many contenders for the Stirrers Award. After much deliberation, NZRT's Vice President Phil Holliday, ZL3PAH, presented the award to Don McDonald, ZL3DMC, the 2018 winner, who had forgotten to return the Stirrers Award to the New Plymouth Conference. At the conclusion of the AGM, retiring President Stuart Watchman, ZL2TW, passed the President's badge of office to incoming NZRT President Mark Gooding, ZL2UFI. Well, those are some of the key points from a well-organised and run conference. Thank you, New Plymouth, Branch 27. As mentioned earlier in the broadcast, NZRT conference next year is to be held on the West Coast. With details, here's Topsy Scott ZL2LS. With conference 219 under our belts, it is now time to start thinking about conference 2020. This is going to be held in Shantytown in Greymouth over Queen's birthday weekend. It's time to plan that trip to the famous West Coast. It's time to make your accommodation bookings. The conference itself will be held at Shantytown. Accommodation will be booked in Greymouth as none is available in Shantytown. The Kingsgate Hotel is our main hotel for the weekend and have plenty of rooms available. Just mention you are with the NZART conference and ensure you will get a great rate. Conference plans are well underway and we will give you another update in two months' time. Thanks, Jim, and back to you. Thank you, Topsy. Topsy Scott ZL2LS reporting for the 2020 Conference Committee. The Whangarei Amateur Radio Club are holding a used equipment sale at their club rooms Heritage Park, Manu, Wangarei, on Saturday the 27th of July 2019. The venue will be open for buyers at 10.30am. The Auckland VHF group will be attending with goodies and their trading table. There will be a sausage sizzle, tea, coffee, cakes and sausage rolls available throughout the morning. Table bookings should be made to Dave ZL1DMA on 027 472 5519. 027 472 5519. Or email alpha.secure at extra.co.nz. Alpha.secure at extra.co.nz. Now there'll be a build your own hamburger for around $5 and a quiz and a rag due commencing at 5.30pm in the evening at the club rooms. Pay on the night, but notice of your intention to attend would be appreciated for catering purposes. RSVP to Rose ZL1WRD 09 436 0147 09 436-0147. That's the Wangarei Amateur Radio Club Equipment Sale on Saturday the 27th of July. Now to join up on Amateur Radio News from around the world, we join the team at the Amateur Radio News Line. We begin this week's report with word of the sudden cancellation of an important regional championship for fox hunting enthusiasts. Jim Meachin, ZL2BHF, picks up the story from here. 
The amateur radio direction finding championships that have been scheduled for September have been cancelled. The Chinese Radio Amateurs Club wants to have hosted the competition, the 12th championships for Region 3, but announced the change in plans in a letter to the chairman of IARU Region 3's ARDF committee, Hiroshi Izutu, JF1, RPZ. The Chinese club's president, Li Hai Kuing, said the plan for hosting was not working out and attributed it to unforeseen difficulties that surfaced about a week ago. Li indicated that as a result, the event, which was to have begun on September 21st, has lost the necessary support from the local government. Attempts to devise an alternate plan were unsuccessful, he said. He acknowledged the disappointment this would bring and indicated he had better hopes for the future. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Jim Meacham, said L2BHF. The controversy continues as a proposal from France regarding the use of the two-meter band advances to the agenda of yet another international meeting. With that update is Ed Durant, DD5LP. The French proposal that the frequencies 144 to 146 megahertz be considered for aeronautical use has advanced to the agenda of a meeting in August where it will be brought up for final inclusion during the World Radio Communication Conference in 2023. The move was taken during the recent meeting in Prague of the CEPT Project Team A. The IARU, which is against such a change, was present at the Prague meeting, where other administrations were not opposed to putting the new aeronautical frequencies on the agenda. The IARU has been a staunch defender of the two-metre band where hams around the world and amateur satellites make use of the frequencies on a primary basis. Meanwhile, the organisation intends to provide member societies and others with a brief encouraging them to review the French proposal before the meeting in August. The Prague meeting, which opened on the 17th of June, concluded on the 21st. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Ed Durant, DD5LP. For now, with Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team worldwide, I'm Neil Rapp, WB9VPG in Bloomington, Indiana, saying 7-3, and as always, we thank you for listening. Amateur Radio Newsline is copyright 2019, all rights reserved. And as always, we say thank you to Newsline for the use of their copyright material. Well, it's time now for Waro News, but before I pass over to Rosemary ZL1RO, here's a few words from the Waro president, Topsy Scott ZL2LS. It is my pleasure to announce that Rosemary ZL1RO was awarded life membership of Waro at our NZART conference in New Plymouth. Congratulations, Rosemary, and well deserved. Thanks, Jim, and back to you. Thank you, Topsy. And now, it's a very good evening to Rosemary, ZL1RO. Thanks, Jim, and good evening, everyone. The WARO annual general meeting took place during NZART conference at New Plymouth. We have a new president, Topsy, who is ZL2LS, and the rest of the executive and committee remain the same as last year, with Cathy, ZL2ADK, welcome back onto the committee. A couple of decisions were made during the AGM that members might like to know about. With some regrets, it was decided that Waro's Thelma Super 80 metre contest will no longer be held. Membership certificates were presented to Cathy, ZL2ADK, for 40 years, Nari, ZL2UJT, and Jill, ZL2DBO, for 30 years' continuous membership of Waro. Last membership of WIRO was awarded to Rosemary ZL1RO. Reports from attendees confirm that the conference alternative program was greatly enjoyed by all, but the cold weather was not so popular. Did you attend conference and take photos of WIRO activities or the alternative program? Remember that our bulletin and broken page editors would welcome any photos to include in our pages. Members will recently have received by email the changes that are suggested be made to the WARO rules and guidelines. Please read them and send any comments or suggestions to President Topsy, ZL2LS, by Saturday the 6th of July at the latest. Here's an early reminder that the Hamilton Market Day is being held on Saturday the 31st of August this year and it will be at a new venue which is the Gordonton Hall 
at 1024 Gordonton Road, right on the main road and not too hard to find. Why else will get together for morning tea as usual? Do remember to have a look at the Waro webpage on qsl.net slash nzwaro now and then. It's well worth the effort. That's all from Waro for June, Jim. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Rosemary. Reporting for Waro, Rosemary Bosher, ZL1RO. Early information tonight from the New Plymouth Amateur Radio Club Branch 27, who will be holding a junk sale on Saturday, September 21st, at the Mungaree Memorial Hall on the corner of Kent Road and State Highway 3, New Plymouth. The hall opens at 8am for vendors with buyers welcome at 10am. There'll be food and refreshments available on site. A talking station will be on the 720 repeater on the day. Please contact the secretary to reserve a table or for more information, email secretary at zl2ab.com or go to www.zl2ab.com. That's the New Plymouth Branch 27 junk sale on Saturday the 21st of September. Finally, in tonight's official broadcast lineup, it's Branch News. Here's Stephen McNeil, ZL4HG. Thanks, Jim, and good evening, everyone. We start with North Shore Branch 29 NZART, where the next general meeting is on Monday, July the 1st at the club rooms at 400 East Coast Road. Paul Barrett, ZL1AJY, will be talking about HF antennas and feed lines. Now, Paul is a keen HF operator and contester, and he will share his wealth of knowledge on how to get your antenna working. To Auckland NZART Branch 02, where the next meeting is on Saturday the 20th of July. Graham ZL1GH will give a talk on software-defined receivers. NZART Branch 13, Hawke's Bay Amateur Radio Club, has its next meeting on Wednesday July the 24th. This will be a donated junk auction and metal collection light. The doors will be open early for donations if required. Hutt Valley Branch 18 has a pre-owned sale and quiz night on Monday, July the 1st at 7.30pm at the club rooms in Waterloo, Lower Hutt. And finally, Christchurch Branch 05 NZART has its next meeting on Wednesday, July the 3rd. Alistair G, Director of AML Switchgear, will give a presentation on current trends in the electrical equipment industry. He's also National President of Master Electricians, so the talk will also cover industry training and some of the challenges that we face. And that meeting will be at 7.30pm at the Club Rooms, which is in 5 Idris Road in Fendleton. And that's all from me. Back to you, Jim. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen McNeil, all 4 hg reporting from Christchurch. The next official broadcast of NZART will be made by ZL6A at 8pm on Sunday the 28th of July. This is ZL6A, headquarters station of the New Zealand Association of Radio Transmitters, concluding the NZART official broadcast for June 2019. Good night, everyone. Good night now.